Hi everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about teaching your dog to place or to lay on a mat. Uh, I'm gonna show you using the Hound Games play mat. Any sort of mat that is smaller, fits your dog well, will work. First thing you're gonna do is get your dog used to walking on top of the mat. You're going to take your treat, lure them on top of the mat, and then mark an reward with your verbal marker or your clicker when they step foot on the mat. So it's gonna look like this. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Good choice. Okay. Once your dog's comfortable walking on top of the mat, you're gonna start having them sit or lay down on the mat. Sit. Yes, good boy. Okay. You're also gonna add in your release cue that tells your dog it's okay to get up from the mat. The release cue is really important because you wanna be able to tell your dog, go to bed and have them stay there until you release them. Otherwise, it's not gonna be very useful. Your dog's gonna decide, hey, I wanna go see that person, or hey, I really wanna go grab that piece of food off the counter, and they're not gonna wanna wait on their mat um, because they haven't practiced that good release cue. So go to bed, place, mat, whatever you call it, should always mean go stay on that spot. You can sit, lay down, do whatever, until I tell you otherwise. Okay. Once your dog can sit early down on the mat, you are going to start having them work on longer and longer periods of time and more distractions. So to start, it looks like this. Go to bed. And then I might spin in a circle, wave my arms. Okay, do something mildly distracting and different to help my dog understand that they should remain on the mat no matter what I do. Go to bed. I might also start to add in distance. Good. Okay. Go to bed. And slowly work on longer and longer periods of distance away from my dog. Okay. Go to bed. And then I might start adding in actual tasks around my house. So I might ask my dog to go to bed and then grab the mail or do the dishes or do something that's very lifelike to replicate the situations where I might want my dog to remain on their mat while something else is happening. Okay, good job. Good boy. I like using a smaller mat like this rather than a large plushy bed because then my dog um, can have this brought everywhere. So I could take it if we go on vacation or we go on a trip somewhere or if we go sit on a patio to have lunch um, and they have the same kind of mat with them so I can ask them to work on laying on that mat and remaining calm no matter what situation we are in. Are you a good boy?